So I thought I'd make a quick video just to show the homemade uh, DSLR track dolly or slider that I've made. Um, you can buy these now. Um, I think for what they are, they cost a lot of money. Um, it's really just a set of rails and a low friction trolley that runs along the rails. Um, so I thought I'd make my own and I'll just show you how. So here are the rails. Uh, you can just see spare bits of timber I had lying around um, and a couple of aluminium tubes. Uh, these tubes are actually from uh, a skip. I got them for free, uh, but you could equally just buy something from a DIY shop for not a lot of money, just aluminium tubes. I guess they're about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half in diameter. Okay, so here is the slider. It slides along the track, uh, all homemade. Uh, the metal bars are just uh, square. They're actually steel. You could use anything, aluminium, whatever. Um, these actually used to be uh, a bike carrier from the roof of a car um, that was, again, scrap. Um, just made use of this had the added advantage that it had pre-drilled holes um, so I didn't have to worry so much about drilling straight holes. Um, these are skateboard wheel bearings with uh, little bushes in the gap. You can get both of these from eBay for next to nothing and then these bolts, I think they're M8 bolts just from B&Q. This quick release plate uh, is not strictly necessary, you could just screw directly from this bit of metal up through into the uh, thread of your camera, but this makes life a bit easier. These quick release plates are brilliant, brilliant. They're uh, less than five pounds from eBay, including delivery. Um, and I opted to make this um, with just a single cross piece between these pieces here. Um, allows, I guess, fine adjustment to get the thing parallel. I guess you could also adjust the width between the two of them slightly. And if you wanted to play around, you could make this work so it was a, a tabletop dolly by removing the uh, these wheels and just having these wheels on. The way I've opted to do it, um, as you can see here, is with uh, two sets of bearings. One, obviously, that it rests on on top of the um, on on top of the tubes, and another set here and here so that obviously it can't move from side to side and there you can see it slides nicely along the rails. Okay here it is with the camera in situ. Uh, you can see I've opted to mount it with a little um, tripod ring around the lens. Uh, equally you could put a ball head joint in here. I've got a ball head I'll probably use for some shots where you want the camera facing up or down. That's pretty flexible to be honest. The slightly trickier bit is the slider itself. Okay, so the next thing to show you is down at one end of the setup. It's not a high-tech solution, but it works very well. This is a small um, brushless motor. Um, works fine at one and a half volts. Obviously, speed can be varied depending on the voltage. Um, and I've just got a thin bit of cotton running to the slider itself, and uh, the cotton's held on with some little tiny uh, rubber rings. They're actually rubber rings from fishing floats. Uh, as you can see, you connect the voltage and it winds. Nice steady pace along the slider. By doing it that way, you avoid some of the unpleasant kind of jerky movement that you inevitably get when you um, try and do that yourself with your hand. So just to show you, uh, in the centre on the underside here, a mounting plate. There's any number of ways you could do this. Um, this is just a bit of metal I had that had some camera thread in it. Um, you, could, you could do this with a quick release plate or all sorts, but I've uh, chiselled down into the wood and recessed it slightly so that the mounting plate sits just about flush with the wood. So here's the whole setup in situ, uh, mounted on a tripod um, and you get the idea connect the motor up to the battery and we should get a nice 
tracking shot along here. So we'll see how we get on. So there we go, that's the whole setup. I hope you found the video useful. I think all told it probably cost me less than £20, uh, which is great, seeing as how expensive most camera equipment is. I'll post links to some of the eBay items if I can still find them uh, to make it super easy if you want to build your own. Okay. <laughs>